Hi everybody, this is Kefran, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Off The Grid. We're going to start by optimizing Windows. After that, we will go uh, in your NVIDIA parameter and we're going to close with the best settings for the game. So now for Windows, we're going to start by writing settings and we're going to go to the settings of Windows 11. We're going to start by gaming over there. So the first one is game bar. This one I really recommend to disactivate it. It's causing issue and also you're losing some FPS with it. Except if you have a Ryzen uh, CPU, the 7900X 3D or the 7950X 3D, they're using uh, the game bar uh, to prioritize your CCD when you're playing video games. So super important to use that if you have those processors. If you have any other processor, just disactivate it. After that, we're going to go to graphic. We're going to change default graphic setting over there. Make sure that your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is at on. Super important to do that. We're going to go to gaming again. Capture, capture. Make sure that everything is deactivated like this. So uh, you want to save all your resources. And the last one is game mode. Now game mode, honestly, is really, really good. Back then uh, with Windows 10, it was a bit sketchy and a lot of like stuttering issue. But now you really need to using it uh, to make sure that all your resources are pri prioritizing your video games. Another thing that I recommend, we're going to go to system is your power uh back then uh, we were recommending to use the best performance but now honestly just use balance you will have better boost clock longer boost clock uh, i did a couple of benchmark balance versus per best performance and honestly i'm getting better result with balance so super important to do that Another thing I want to mention is some recommendations. So make sure that your uh, XMP profile is activated if you have it on your BIOS, super important. Make sure that you download the latest uh, chipset driver for your CPU if you have an AMD or Intel. Also make sure that you update your BIOS to make sure that you have all the latest update from your uh, CPU or your uh, uh, motherboard provider. Make sure that you have your Windows update up to date. And the last one is also make sure that you have the latest driver from your GPU. So if you have an NVIDIA card, Radeon or Intel, super important. They always push new update and they optimize a lot of stuff in it. So now let's go to the NVIDIA app. The first thing that I want to recommend, uh, I'm not a huge fan, honestly, of the um overlay so nvidia overlay i really recommend to disactivate this one sometimes it's causing issue like stuttering you're losing some fps with it so i really recommend to disactivate it also we're gonna go to the control panel i'm gonna show you some optimization that you can do so we're gonna go to the manage 3d setting first so the first thing that you should definitely activate it is your low latency mode make sure this one is at on Another thing that I recommend is your power management mode. This one, pretty much the same thing than the, the, the one from Windows. Make sure that you're using normal. Don't use the maximum performance. I'm getting also better boost clock, more FPS with it. And the last one is your shader cache size. By default, your cache will be a driver default like this. And normally it's four gig. Uh, I recommend to start with 10 if you don't have a lot of space on, on your computer. And if you have a lot of space, go with 100 gig. Honestly, it's a game changer for your cache size. Uh, you're gonna struggle less with stuttering and also that your game need to recompile and stuff like that. If you install a lot of game, uh, this one can be very good for you. Now let's go to change resolution. The last one, really important to make sure that first of all, that you're selecting the uh, monitor, uh, that uh, first of all, you're using the native resolution of your monitor and also super important to have a proper refresh rate over there. Uh, by default, sometimes when you just change your monitor, it will be at 60 Hertz. Uh, so depending on the type of monitor that you buy, 144, 240, make sure that you're selecting this one. This option also, you can change it on Windows or your Radian driver if you have a Radian car. So no problem with that. The last one is your G-Sync. If you want to activate your G-Sync, yeah, really important to select the monitor. It needs to be compatible and you will enable over there. Uh, I'm not using G-Sync me. I always unlock my FPS because I want the lowest input lag. But if you don't like those steering line, definitely activate your G-Sync over there. So now let's go back to the game. So now inside of the game, so first of all, window mode, super important to play full screen. So by default, I think it's in window full screen. So this one will increase your FPS and also less input lag. 
Windows resolution, make sure that you're playing native depending on your monitor. In my case, it's 1440p, so just don't lower your resolution to have more FPS. The game will look too blurry. After that frame rate the limit, I just go unlimited to make sure that I have the lowest input lag possible. If you have thermal issues, sometimes it's better to just lock your FPS with the amount of Hertz of your monitor. So for example, if you have a 144 Hertz monitor, you can lock them if you want. After that, resolution scaling method. Right now, it's pretty much, do you need FPS? How much FPS do you need? So I'm gonna tell you which parameter does what and which one can be good for you. So first of all, uh, you have three different uh, options for uh, resolution scaling. Don't use TSR, it's, it's, it's very uh, trash, honestly. The game looks very blurry. You have FSR3, that's pretty cool, and also the LSS. So if you have an RTX card compatible with the LSS, Go with the LSS for sure. Go at quality. Uh, lesser than that, honestly, the game looks blurry. And if you have a lot of FPS, I recommend the LAA. Your image will be crisp, total clear. But you're going to lose like 2% in your FPS. So it really depends. Do you need FPS or you just want pure clarity to see enemies? Uh, in case that you have a Radiant card or another card that's not compatible with the LSS, it's pretty much the same thing. I recommend to go with quality. Uh, pretty much the same thing than DLSS uh, because lower than that, the game looks too blurry. And also you can run native AA if you want, if you have uh, a good amount of FPS. So let's go back to DLSS and quality. Anti-aliasing, uh, just put it at low. Normally, if you're using DLSS, it's not applied. It's more like if you're not using any uh, scaling method. And anyway, anti-aliasing in this game is very blurry. So go with low. Render distance, I recommend to go with medium. At high, you're gonna tank your FPS a lot, but you, you, you know, you, you need to see in front of you in those kind of games. So my recommendation is go with medium. Texture quality, I recommend to go with high if you have six gig and more VRAM, four gig medium, and less than four gig, go with low. Shadow quality, this one is pretty much the parameter that will provide you the most of your FPS. So this one I recommend to go with low. You can expect 12% boost, so it's pretty huge. Effect, you can expect 4% at low, but you're gonna stabilize a lot your FPS when a lot of uh, explosion fighting is happening. Global illumination and post-processing quality, I recommend to go with low with both. You can expect 6% boost, but honestly, it's more about the visibility. It will be a lot better without them. Reflection low also, you can expect a nice 3% boost, but it's more about stabilization of your FPS. Uh, I don't know why in this game the reflection, it tank your FPS like crazy. Foliage, I recommend to go with low. You can expect 3% boost, but again, uh, it's better to see enemy uh, in bush, trees, grass, and stuff like that. Shading quality, the, I think the um, the best compromise is medium. Uh, you're gonna still have like a good image quality. At low, I feel it's too blurry. So this one definitely go with medium. And after that, V-Sync. Yeah. This one I just deactivated to have to do the uh, lowest input lag possible. It can cause tearing, so it really depends what you need and what you have. Uh, you can use other technology like G-Sync or FreeSync to synchronize your GPU with your monitor to, uh, to don't have those tearing line. So it's really a question of preference over there. Hide out uh, mesh minimum quality. This one you can definitely run at medium. Game mesh minimum quality, medium or high, depending where you are in your uh, FPS. It really depends. Uh, honestly, it's, it doesn't take too much your FPS, this one. And the motion blur, I recommend to remove it for sure. You don't want this in any competitive game, so just deactivate it. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my off-the-grid uh, guide. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.